ever wondered how to make your Svelte applications look stunning with minimal effort? Are you looking for a way to apply modern responsive design without diving deep into custom CSS? Tailwind CSS is your magic wand and today I am going to show you how to wield it. Hello fellow developers, I am Ayaz Zafar and welcome to our channel where we unlock the potential of web technologies making them accessible and fun for everyone. Whether you are new to Svelte or looking to spice up your current projects, this tutorial is designed to guide you through the process of integrating Tailwind CSS into your Svelte applications seamlessly. We will go step by step ensuring you have a solid foundation to explore the creative possibilities Tailwind CSS offers. So if you are ready to transform your web development workflow and elevate your designs, let's dive into how you can do the same. By the end of this tutorial, you will be equipped to implement Tailwind CSS in your Svelte projects, turning them into visually appealing, highly responsive web applications. So let's get started. First things first, let's start by setting up a new Svelte Kit project. Svelte Kit offers a seamless development experience combining Svelte's reactivity and components with server-side rendering and routing. If you haven't already, this is where our journey begins. So open up your terminal and let's run a command npm create svelte at latest and your project name this command scaffolds a new svelte kit project with the latest features and best practices so just press y to accept make sure to replace the my project with the name of your choice so here it is asking you a few questions which svelte app template you want to use so they have a Svelte kit demo app, skeleton project or a library project. So in the demo app, it will showcase some of the features of Svelte kit play a word guessing game that works without JavaScript. Okay, let's choose the skeleton, I guess. So it is bare bones scaffolding for your new Svelte kit app. And in the library, it is bare bones scaffolding for your new Svelte library. I think I should select the second one press enter now it is asking that add type checking with typescript there are options yes using javascript with js docs comments yes using typescript syntax i think this is better now select additional options use arrow keys spacebar add es lint for code linting i will select this option and then add prettier for code formatting let's select this one as well okay i think that's fine now we can press enter all right so everything has been created this is the next step we need to cd into the project and run the npm install and then we need to initialize git it is optional so let's do that copy this cd command and then let's run the npm install in it all right it has been installed now i'm going to open it in my editor that is vs code so let's do that I'm using VS code you can use any editor whatever you prefer okay now if you open the package.json file you will find the script that you can use to run okay let's run it just to see if it is working npm run dev and now it is running on this port if you open that you will see that svelte kit is running in your browser so with your project ready you have laid the groundwork for integrating tailwind css let's move on to the installing tailwind and its component tailwind css requires a few dependencies to work its magic these include tailwind itself post css and auto prefixer together they allow us to use tailwind's utility first classes and ensure our styles are compatible across browsers so let's install those dependencies open a new terminal in your project root directory and run this command npm install dash d tailwind css post css auto prefixer press enter this will install these dependencies by the way if you want to look at their official documentation open the tailwind css documentation website go to the installation section and go to the framework guides and here you will find the svelte kit click on that and this is the official documentation that you can also follow along okay dependencies has been installed now you need to initialize the tailwind css for that run the command npx tailwind css init dash p press enter 
in your project's root directory. This creates two important files tailwindconfig.js, this one, and postcss.config.js, this. That will configure Tailwind and post CSS to your project. These files are crucial. Tailwind.config.js allows you to customize Tailwind to fit your project's need, while post CSS.config.js ensures your CSS is processed correctly using post CSS and Tailwind. Now that Tailwind and post CSS are in installed, we need to ensure Svelte can process them within the, our components. This is where svelte.config.js comes into play. So make sure that white process is added already in the preprocess property. This tells Svelte to use white's preprocessor to handle style tag blocks as post CSS, allowing us to use Tailwind CSS within our Svelte components. With white process function, Svelte is now equipped to process Tailwind CSS, enabling us to utilize Tailwind's utility classes directly in our components. This setup not only streamlines development, but also enhances our styling capabilities, paving the way for more expressive and maintainable designs. Great job! You have successfully set up your Svelte project and integrated Tailwind CSS. You are now ready to start building out your application with the efficiency of Tailwind and reactivity of Svelte. Next, we will dive deeper into configuring Tailwind CSS to match our project's need. With the Tailwind CSS installed, our next step is to tell Tailwind where to look for class names to generate the appropriate styles. This is crucial for optimizing your final build, ensuring only styles you use are included. So go to the tailwind.config.js file and here inside the content array, pass src star star slash star dot and here i will add html js weld and ts okay in your tailwind.config.js uh, we have added an option in the content array of globe patterns that match all your template files here source this tells tailwind to scan all html javascript svelte and typescript files under the source directory for class names this setup ensures that tailwind generates styles for every class you have used across your project configuring the content path correctly is key to leveraging tailwind's utility first approach eff efficiently it keeps your project's style sheet lean and fast by including only the necessary styles now let's integrate Tailwind into our Svelte's project's styling. We start by creating a CSS file that will import Tailwind's base component and utility layers. So let's create a file named app.css in your source directory and add those dependencies. So go to the source and here create a new file app.css and then add Tailwind base and components and utilities okay so these directives import tailwind's foundational styles and any component classes you create and tailwind utility classes respectively this css file becomes the cornerstone of styling your application it brings the power of tailwind utility first css right into your Svelte's project to apply these styles globally, we will import the CSS file into our Svelte application. We do this in the layout component, which wraps around every page of our app. So create a file named layout.svelte in the source routes directory. New file plus layout.svelte. Okay. It is asking me to install some recommended extensions. I will just install it because these are officially from there website so this would be installed anyways and now we will import the app.css at the top of this file so on the top let's add script and with that i will import app.css and then i will add slot save it the slot tag is where the content of your pages will be injected, ensuring that your Tailwind styles are applied throughout your applications. With this, every page in your Svelte Kit application will have access to Tailwind styles, allowing you to use utility classes anywhere in your app. Everything is set up. It's time to see our Tailwind 
powered styled project in action so our server is already started so let's quickly look in the browser to see if, if everything is still working okay as you make changes to your Svelte files and Tailwind classes you will see those updates reflected in real time so let's do that go to the pages.svelte and here let me add some Tailwind classes like class text for excel save it if uh, i did a mistake here in tailwind here we should have used slash here okay now you can see that the styles are working perfectly fine mm -hmm. this immediate feedback loop is perfect for experimenting with design and iterating quickly mm -hmm. congratulations you have successfully integrated tailwind css into your Svelte project you are now equipped to build beautifully styled responsive web applications with ease Remember, the beauty of Tailwind lies in its flexibility and power to customize your design without leaving your HTML. Now that Tailwind CSS is fully integrated into our Svelte project, let's dive into the fun part, styling your components with Tailwind's utility classes. Tailwind's design-first approach allows you to build complex designs with simple HTML markup by applying utility classes directly to your elements. So let's start by styling the basic styling a basic page component. We will work on page.svelte which is Svelte Kit's convention for a page component. Our goal is to create a welcoming home with a hero section, a headline and a call to action button. So let's do that. I'm going to remove everything here and now I will add div and let's add some classes to it. BG blue dash 500 text white heading 12 welcome to our svelte project in the class i will add text for l font bold let's quickly test how is it going okay it is looking good so far now i will add a paragraph and here i will add a class mb6 and then i will add a button okay the button has been added now look at that this is what we just created so in this example we created a div that serves as our hero section we have applied tailwind classes for background color text color text alignment and padding the h1 and p tags includes classes for text size font weight and margin finally the button demonstrates how to use tailwind for background color padding and rounded corners along with hover effects let me quickly add the hover effect here as well okay you can see hover effect is also working let me add a color on hover okay i also have added some transition okay great N notice how we were able to achieve visually appealing design without writing a single line of custom css this is the power of tailwind css rapidly prototyping and building out design directly in your markup by applying Tailwind's utility classes, you can quickly iterate on your design with real-time feedback. Tailwind's responsive prefixes, state variants, and custom utilities empower you to create complex responsive designs with ease. Tailwind CSS transforms the way you build your UI, making it faster and more intuitive as you have seen. Integrating Tailwind with Svelte not only simplifies the development process but also enhances the overall design flexibility remember the key to mastering tailwind is to familiarize yourself with its utility classes and to practice applying them to your components experiment with different classes explore tailwind's documentation and don't be afraid to break things that's the part of learning process with tailwind and svelte you are well equipped to bring your web projects to life and life with beautiful responsive designs as we wrap up this tutorial let's quickly recap the journey we have embarked on together we started by setting up a new svelte kit project laying the foundation for our application next we integrated tailwind css by installing the necessary packages and configuring tailwind and post css in our project we then moved on to config configuring tailwind css in our tailwind.config.js file specifying the paths to our template files to ensure tailwind generates styles for all our classes following that we added tailwind's base components base components and utilities layers to our css and improved this file globally within our svelte's project finally we dove into the exciting part applying tailwind tailwind's utility classes to our svelte's components showcasing the power of flexibility of tailwind css for building beautiful responsive design 
This tutorial demonstrates the ease and efficiency of using Tailwind CSS with Svelte for web development. Tailwind's utility-first approach encourages, encourages you to think about design in a whole new way, making it simpler to prototype and build complex layouts. I encourage you to experiment with Tailwind CSS in your Svelte projects, play around with utility classes, and see how they can transform your designs into more beautiful, responsive web applications. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Don't hesitate to share your Tailwind CSS and Svelte projects in the comments below. We love seeing what you create. Our channel is dedicated to providing you with valuable web development content helping you to grow as a developer. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced coder, your goal is to empower you with knowledge and skills in the latest web technologies. Be sure to check out our other tutorials for more insights and tips. Use the end screen elements to navigate to our recommended videos and continue your learning journey with us. Thanks for watching and happy coding. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.